So I'm gonna answer the question once and for all, is MMR legit? And so if we look at what MMR stands for, it really means monthly recurring revenue. But uh, you know, the online digital marketers like to now call master reseller rights the new MRR, which is kind of funny because uh, really you should be focusing on the monthly recurring revenue and not uh, one-time payments, but that's a whole different topic. And so if we get into the master reseller rights, I actually get in quite a bit of arguments with people on the legit, I guess, if it's a legit business, people will argue with things like, oh yeah, you you know, farmers, are they uh, not a real business or a craft or grocery stores because they buy a product to resell it? And that's not, you have to think they actually have a, a, what is the word I'm looking for, a arbitrage. There's a cost of price for that good and service. And master reselling rights, digital goods, there is no arbitrage. You're not not trying to buy low and sell high or buy in bulk so that you can make more money. You are reselling the same garbage. That's like, I don't know, it's just, it's just silly. So like they try and say, oh, like we, we own a business because we, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you don't have a business. You don't control the price and you don't control the offer. And so she went off to say, tell me how I'm bald and I'm an angry person. And I'm like, okay, thanks, Brokey. But um, MMR, is it legit? Is it not? If Here's the thing. These MMR courses are set up for you to sign up for something that requires you to pay for a monthly subscription. That's what they're all set up for. However, they want you to resell the course so that you so that you can essentially afford your subscription, which then pays the person who created the uh, MMR program. The thing is, all these MMR programs, uh, if we go to my profile here, you can see I've been dropping every master reseller rights, the master reseller light program. Uh, what else? I have them all under here. UBC ultimate branding course, um, the strategy, digital boss, digital wealth Academy. So they're all here. Um, really all you need to do is go to chat GPT, go to chat GPT. And if you want to learn any kind of skill, ask chat GPT, chat GPT, teach, teach me how to do affiliate marketing as a complete beginner include an outline for a course i can study and include all important subcategories and searchable topics on youtube so that's all you really have to say and then it will create you an outline module one what is affiliate marketing And then you can literally Google some of these. Boom. It probably will even give me a, uh, yeah. So this is really easy to follow. This is a course. And then you're going to be watching YouTube videos anyways on these MMR. So you might as well actually ask ChatGPT and then go to YouTube and learn. Uh, Literally the best way. However, then you won't have anything to sell, which is unfortunate but it it really isn't unfortunate because you can literally just go to YouTube uh to um the Google machine and type in become an affiliate plus uh whatever niche you're in so say games gaming join the affiliate twitch uh buff affiliate gaming visuals sky tech gaming uh let's go kid product kid products sprout kids green kids crafts melissa and doug disney store so all of these are easy ways to one sell a product learn how to do a skill set and then learn how to join affiliate programs for free literally you can just join any of these for free affiliate page disney boom sign up earn rewards for selling Disney stuff, not too bad. Another option is to become like an Amazon influencer like myself, um, where I review products and get them, and then I can 
then take them and sell them on my store where I get 100% commissions, which is pretty nice. Um, so I have, for example, I got these uh, podcasts. I mean, here's one right here. And then a uh, webcam, webcam. I got a boat deck thing. I got some uh, no bounce runner drone. I have a uh, chair that I'm probably gonna get that I'm gonna add to the list. And so I can sell these products. I haven't got all of them up here. I just started adding them, but easily, easy to do. And so I'm getting 100% commissions and then I get products from Amazon and then I actually get uh, paid to sell or to do reviews videos. And so if I were to break this down, we get the Amazon influencer uh, commissions from uh, people buying the products, get paid from doing reviews, and then selling the products itself because uh, we didn't pay for the products, we got them for free. And so it's 100% profit. So three income streams from one. Obviously, you can. there's so many, so many more you can do. I mean, you could say have a blog with those articles. You can get off-site commissions. You can run ads. Uh, no, you can have AdSense on your uh blog and get commissions that way from writing these articles. So, so many ways to do it without actually um, actually doing a real thing, like not actually um, selling MMR. And so uh, you might be wondering like, oh, Brandon, you're doing that. You're reselling products. Yeah, I am. I'm, I, I do resell a physical product that has a tangible value to it. Um, and I'm selling it to the end user who's going to use it. I'm not selling it to someone who's then going to take it and then sell it to someone else who's then going to sell it to someone else. So it's a little bit different, but uh, is MMR legit? If I were to answer the question, I think if you're using it to learn a skill and then taking the skill to actually create something and make your own course, then I think it's legit. If you're, say for instance, you it's a little widget and you wanna add it to your offer, then I think it's a legit as a master reseller rights. If the whole offer is a master reseller rights and that's all you have to give, then I think it's, if it like the whole idea is to buy it, to resell it, to then the next person to buy it, to resell it, you're just playing hot potato at that point. And it's not really teaching anything because you didn't learn what's in the material. All you learned is how to be a sales rep essentially. And that's not gonna really do anything. You could have just signed up uh, on indeed.com for a commission only uh, job if that's what you wanted to do. So I don't think MMR is legit unless you're adding it to your offer to strengthen your offer. But if it's 100% the offer itself, then no, I don't think it's legit. So that's it guys. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.